you always see the battery step into the plate and a soft one. And stop. The battery is about to hit the ball. This is a perfect example of Newton's first law. The first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. It also states that an object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Here, the ball is in motion and continues in motion until it is acted upon by an unbalanced force, the bat. This causes the ball to change its speed and direction. Let's see what happens. Mixing up and making adjustments. I pop up. Wait! Here, we see another example of Newton's first law. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. Since the wall has more inertia than the girl, well, I'll just let you watch. Since the wall has much more inertia than the girl, the wall goes nowhere and the girl quickly comes to a stop. You should be glad that you haven't experienced Newton's first law the way the center fielder did. Now on to Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law states that acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. The greater the mass of the object being accelerated, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate the object. Let's see an example. Okay, now a soccer player shown here will kick a soccer ball, thereby demonstrating Newton's second law of motion. Since the soccer ball does not have a lot of mass, little force is needed to accelerate it a great distance. Let's see. The soccer ball moved a great distance with a small amount of force acting on it because it did not have much mass. If the soccer ball was made out of lead, well, let's just say this goal wouldn't look as good as it did. Here's another example of Newton's second law. In this video we have a professional football kicker and a friendly volunteer who loves to help kids learn about physics. Yeah, let's just go with that. Alright, so watch. Here, the ball requires a little force to move at a great speed. Our friendly volunteer, on the other hand, with a great amount of mass, goes basically nowhere from the force of the ball. Again, be glad for classroom learning. Now we move on to Newton's third law of motion. The third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Let's see another example. Here, Pro superstar Michael Jordan goes for a dunk. His feet push on the ground with a certain force. The floor returns with an opposite and equal force to his feet. This causes him to accelerate upwards. Alright, that's it. I hope you learned a little bit about Newton's laws of motion and also have fun doing it. Thanks. Lay, sir, yeah, yeah. Kane is in the building, nigga. Yeah.